for all my judges are ready. We are. We'll begin. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Carl's Snooze middle of honesty button. seemed to catch the brunt of it last night. Snooze with some button. places in the north, according to accumulation of up to 15 inches. Huh? Because of all the snow, the Odyssey Police Department recommends you stay at home today oh, unless man. you have an emergency. And now for the latest on school closings. The following public school systems will be closed. Campbell County. Anderson County. Campbell Baldwin County. Baldwin County. Come on. Cadbury County. Come on. Camarado County. Hamburg County. And Camber County. Camber County. And with those two words, the radio announcer made my day. James 1.12. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life. Which God has promised to those who love him. In this delightful story, Alex Jefferson and his cousin Cal team up to deliver a top secret. But everyone seems to know about it. Okay, fine. A top secret package to their grandma. They evade spies and assassins. Really? Well, not really. Okay, whatever. Let's just get to the story. Snow Day. Bye, John Beebe. Everything everywhere was covered in white. Our front yard was pure snow, like a blanket of cotton candy. Except it wasn't sticky, and it wasn't pink, and it wasn't on one of those paper cone things. Anyway, it was like a whole new world out there, just calling to me. Hey, Alex, come on outside! Hey, Cal, be right there. But on my way out the door... Alex, there's something I need you to do for me. Yes, ma'am. Little did I know that the next dun, words dun, of my mom's dun, mouth would send me on an unforgettable dun, journey dun, that would dun, test my courage, dun, dun, my perseverance, dun. and my skills to survive. I need you to deliver these cookies to your grandma. Operation Cookie Delivery. It sounded simple dun, dun, enough, dun, but little did I know what terror dun, dun, lay ahead for me and one dozen cookies. You have to understand, mom's cookies are world famous. Well, at least they are in Odyssey. We're talking cookies that are the stuff of legend. The most delicious, chewy chocolate chip cookies you ever put in your mouth. I was on my way now, carrying mom's famous golden cookie tin in a paper bag for security reasons. But once I rounded the corner of our house, I came face to face with something hideous, something gruesome, something unknown. It's Mr. Smiley the Snowman. Mr. Smiley. Cal, is that a zucchini sticking out of his face? Yeah, we couldn't find a carrot for his nose. Okay, and I guess those two rutabagas are his eyeballs? Yep, and how about the broccoli for his hair, huh? It looks like Mr. Smiley had an accident with a vegetable stand. Yeah, well, the one thing Mr. Smiley really needs is a hat. We're thinking about using... Hey, what about your paper bag there? No. Why not? You look great with a paper bag hat. Come on, Alex, please tell you what. You give Mr. Smiley a hat, we'll let you help us with our snow fort. Who's us? Mandy and me. Come on, Alex, please. Okay, fine. Great. Maybe you can use it to cover his face. <laughs> what you got here, anyway? Whoa! The golden cookie tin! Shh! Cal. That's your mom's trademark, the gold Shh. cookie tin. Shh! I'm on a dangerous mission here. You want to get me killed? Can I have one? Cal. These are for our grandmother. Yeah, I know, but she wouldn't miss. <laughs> a long range snowball scored a direct hit on Mr. Smile. Vegetables flew everywhere, which was not pretty. Mr. Smiley! How? He's. Therefore, our grandmother. Oh. Speaking of disappointments, well, Cal. You tell her. Okay. Mandy, Mr. Smiley isn't with us anymore. <gasps> to put it gently, he was decimated by a sniper <laughs> snowball. Who would do such a terrible thing? I don't know. All right, I don't know who we're up against, but we've got to pull together to protect ourselves. This is an act of war. Yeah, that's right. This is a day we will always remember. Who's with me? I'm with you. I am. 
Good. I am now Captain Alex, and you are my faithful troops. We may be in for the toughest battle of our lives, but are we warriors or are we wimps? We, we are, are warriors, sir. Yeah. Good. Now here's what will. Hey, Jefferson, I know you've got that gold cookie tin. I've seen it with my own eyeballs. So come out with the cookie tin and with your hands in the air, and we won't hurt you much. <laughs> That's Rodney. That means we're up against a bones of wrath. Come on, everybody. Are we warriors or are we whips? We, we are whips, sir. <laughs> Remember, we have nothing to fear except being afraid of itself or something like that. We'll fight them on the beaches. Captain Alex, we don't have any beaches. We'll never surrender our homes, our lands, or our cookies. They're getting ready to charge. All right. Looks like it's time for Plan Zebra Alpha Charlie Fettuccine Water Buffalo. Well, sounds like a great plan. Here they come. Hold it, Rodney. I think we can work something out. Yeah, well, if you just don't work something out real quick, like, we're going to turn your snowboard into a giant slushy. All right, guys, here's the plan. Switch jackets and hats and put your hoods up. What? Just do it. Mandy, when I give the signal, you run that way to your house. Cal and I will run due south. Zoop. <laughs> Here, Alex. I got this. That is that terrible snow. They're not a garbage can lid? This is no ordinary garbage lid. It's the shield of Captain Alex. Good stinking. I, I mean, thinking. <laughs> well, look. Good job, you guys. Give it your best, Alex. I sure hope you make it to your grandma's. Thanks. I'll give you back your jacket tomorrow. Take good care of it. It's a Powerpuff Pamela collector's jacket. Powderpuff? There's a picture of her on your back. Hey, I can't wear this. Well, here they come. There they go, Bones. Go get them. No, oh, there goes Jefferson that way. No, oh, that's him going that way. Oh, man. I'll get you yet. Jefferson! Cal and I darted between some houses, and there's hard for street ahead of us. It curved down and around to Grandma's house, about a half mile away. I don't think I can make it. We've got to. Look, up ahead, that's Gumper's Hill. Oh, yeah. Gumper's Hill. One of the biggest, meanest hills in all of Odyssey. A treacherous, winding labyrinth with a trail of broken and twisted skeleton sleds abandoned along the downward path. If you ever survived the trip, you still faced Gumper's Creek at the bottom. But it was the quickest shortcut to Grandma's. Here, Cal. Give me that lid. Huh? There. Now it's a garbage sock. Now it's a snow saucer. Come on, Cal. Jump on. But how do you... Whoa! Whoa! Cal and I darted down Gumper's Hill. Actually, it was more like Gumper's Cliff. Ah! Conditions aboard the USS Garbage Saucer were approaching panic for the captain and his crew. Hold on, Cal. I think we can make it, except for one thing. The, the creek! creek. Ah! Ah! Put on the brakes. Huh? Use your boots. Got it. Ah! My boots came off. Use your hands. Ah! My boots came off. Abandon ship. Whoa. Whoa. Cal and I escaped just in time. The saucer rolled down the hill and into the creek. Plunk. Come on, Cal. Right behind you. Right behind you, Cal, you dwaves. Nobody double crosses the bones. There was Grandma's front door, 200 feet away. Come on, Jefferson. 150 feet and closing in. Ah! 100 feet. Feet. 10 feet. 